As promised, Lee is a weaker hurricane, but still a force. It's a one. It will lose that category over the course of the weekend and make landfall as a tropical storm. But passing by our area, likely as a category one storm out to sea, but the wind around the storm and also the wave energy are what we're going to be watching. High surf, beach erosion possible, and definitely dangerous rip currents. This is not a storm for swimmers and we have to keep our eye on the surfers as well. I know the waves are great, but very serious situation. Now for the rest of us, how about the wind? Wind is going to be an issue as we look ahead into the afternoon, 25, 35 mile an hour gusts. And then tonight as the storm is very close, possibly 40 mile an hour gusts. So, and it's, and it's a steady wind. I mean, you get the gust every now and then, but it's still, it's just windy and breezy. Basically high pressure and low pressure combining. That's why we have the wind sticking around all, I mean, all weekend. It's gonna be a windy weekend. So stuff's gonna be flying around. Just make sure you're ready for that. Even Saturday night, still windy. The focus again into parts of New England. Wave energy, four to five to six to 12 footers. That's right. Yeah, I think we'll see more significant wave action for Long Island where we could see even late today, those six to 12 footers Saturday, four to 10. So you're still dealing with some pretty serious waves and it's the pole too. Don't forget dangerous rip currents and not just for Long Island, Jersey Shore as well. I mean, this thing is just ripping up the East Coast with that, that pull out to sea. Concerned about coastal flooding again with a new moon High tide cycles have to be watched because that just contributes to it astronomically higher. And then you add the element of Lee. Fall field today, here comes Lee, and there goes Lee tomorrow. So then by Sunday, it's gone and warm air is going to take over. So that brings us in a, a chance of a shower late. Just make sure you're taking Lee seriously. I know we're, we're not going to see a direct hit, but we're still feeling the impact of the storm.